you see successful people, you always see the final product. You see the houses, the cars, the clothes, and the money. But you don't see all of the work that goes into it. You don't see the blood, sweat, and tears brought on by years of focus and training. Not just by the star himself, but by all of those in his corner. Really, I guess kind of starting out from more the team perspective, what have y'all been pleased with? How, how have y'all done compared to maybe what y'all expected a few months ago? Yeah, we just practice hard, you know, and coach Chris uh, and practice a lot and win the day. And we just win the day. And, um, you know, when it comes Friday, just execute. A lot of young men and women grow up in single parent homes. Their one parent is forced to spend a lot more of their time working to provide for their kids than they do raising their kids. Tyree Goldman is fortunate enough to have both of his parents as well as a gang of siblings. Every building needs a strong foundation. You can't climb to the top without having something steady in your corner. For Tyree Goldman Jr., that's his family. I'm Udrego Tyree Goldman Sr. And things don't always work out the way you want it to. But God has a plan. And it's a good one too. Talent. A lot of people have it. But the people who become famous are the ones who utilize their gifts to create opportunities. Growing up in rough areas where crime is high and opportunities are low has led many gifted young men down a path that caused them to lose it all because of one bad decision. A night hanging with the wrong people can lead to a trip to prison, and all of those opportunities can be gone in the blink of an eye. But there are ways to prevent that. Tyree's father was a talented athlete, and he brought his skills back to the community where he began coaching the youth in his area, giving them outlets to keep them off of the streets and out of trouble. He imparts on them the same teachings he gives to his own kids letting them know that a desire for success can propel them forward, not only in sports, but in any area they choose. You see him in the bleachers, rain or shine, supporting his kids however they need him to. Having grown up in a rough area himself, he knows firsthand how hard it can be. So Udrago seeks to provide every opportunity for his kids to avoid some of the trials and tribulations that he encountered during his younger days. Despite working to support his family and putting in time with his other children, he never misses a game because he knows that seeing him in the stands motivates his son to push through the pain toward the goals that he set for himself. I have Mr. Goldman with me right now. Mr. Goldman, I have a question for you. What is the biggest difference from you and your son when he was your, when you were his age? Um, the biggest difference is, uh, for his, uh, the football size, I, I was a little bit thicker than him, and uh, and the, another difference is I had a bad lifestyle where I was out there in the streets, you know, doing things that wasn't appropriate, you know, uh, you know, like selling drugs and stuff like that. I'm not ashamed, to, you know, say what I used to do with the drugs and stuff, but he not, you know, wasn't introduced to that type of stuff. Man. That's one of the biggest things, you know, he have, you know, uh, more support systems. Okay. The entire family <laughs> takes an active role supporting one another, not just with Tyree's football career, but by helping make sure they all have the skills that they need to be successful in all aspects of life. Um, I did a lot of things for uh, 
take them places. And actually, uh, I would say I love you, which I didn't hear, which I know my father loved me, but I didn't, you know, hear it all the time. But I mean, so that, that's one of the things. Uh, and is there anything that you would like to add about your son, Tyree? I just, well, I would like to say that he's a uh, respectful gentleman and he's a uh, young stud. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he's uh, gonna go far, very far, you know, with with his attitude and and with his speed and the uh, vision, the mindset, and just the way he carry himself in life. I think he's gonna go far. I told ourselves we wasn't gonna stop. Like we, were, we were gonna keep going, you know, keep the uh, intensity up and everything. So that's what we did. Goldman accounted for 329 yards rushing on 31 carries, adding touchdowns of 51, 61, and 71 yards to lead the Jackets to a 34-6 win over Central. The third one, what I remember, what I liked the most was, I thought I was caught. Goldman's 329 rushing yards against Central is second most in a single game in Denham Springs school history. And if you think that's not impressive enough, Remember, he already broke the school's career rushing record earlier this season. It's really a blessing. I would say I give it all to God because, you know, like, I would have never seen myself in this position, you know, coming in to my freshman year. But, you know, just give it to him. My name is Bill Connedies. I'm the head football coach here at Denham Springs High School, a uh, brand new football coach here at Denham Springs High School. and. You know, my, my goal, my job here is to put players in position to be successful. Tyree's support team isn't limited to his family. While they guide him on the proper path at home, on the field he has a coach who not only sees his potential, but has changed his entire game plan because of Tyree's strengths on the field. It is unlikely that a coach would do that for just anyone, but Tyree's humble nature and willingness to accept criticism and instruction makes him a person that is easy to work with and a good role model for his younger siblings. You know, this is a kid who started since his freshman year. My plan is to utilize him in a number of different positions, uh, catching the football out of the backfield, lining up at wide receiver, catching screens, running the football, jet sweeps, you name it. Uh, it's my job, it's my goal as a play caller to put him in position to be successful and to get uh, the most out of him and not necessarily banging him in between the tackles and you know he's 5'7 I don't necessarily want him getting hit but uh, so you know my job as a play caller is to put him in space. While Tyree's dad spends his time helping his kids his wife is playing just as important of a role she puts in as much work as her spouse but she doesn't do it just for her own kids she knows that a lot of the kids on the field with her son don't have parents there to encourage them when they fail or praise them when they succeed. Mrs. Goldman takes it upon herself to be the one woman support crew for all of the kids who need it. Miss Goldman, I have a question for you. Most of the time, a lot of attention is placed on what the dad did to help the son's career. You know, I noticed that you are real supportive of your kids. What can you say that Tyree received from you? This is funny because I, uh, I listen to everybody speak about the talent that he got from his dad and everything that he's gotten from his dad. Um, for one, he's a very humble person. I take pride in knowing that he gets that from me. Oh, um, and just the way he handles his, you know, himself or whatever, I stay on him and you know, I like to think that I contributed some of that to him. And you know, we always hear stories about single parents with kids playing sports, but in your household, there are both parents. So did you find yourself being the support team for the kids in your community that do not have what Tyree family have? I have and I do. Um, there's, you know, kids that came up with Tyree, that played on the team with Tyree. Their mothers were not there. Um, I would transport some of them to the games. Um, and sometimes, like when the parents not there, uh, things happen. Um, so I would find myself standing up for them and, you know, acting as that mother for them. And a lot of them now are playing ball with Tyree. Okay. And when they see me, they hug me and, you know, and I, you know, when I see one that is doing great, I smile, I yell, I cheer for them as if they're mine. Wildcats have elected to receive and will be defending the South End Zone. 
The support of his family and the guidance of his coach have led Tyree to plenty of success and recognition. His hard work on the field is paying off, leading Tyree to multiple full scholarship offers from multiple universities. He has been interviewed by local news outlets on many occasions and has even been chosen multiple times as Sportsline's Player of the Week. It's time to name our first Sportsline Player of the Week tonight. Lots of very deserving nominees, but WAFP's Johnny Lombardi has the story of a very familiar senior who's been here before. Fast starts are nothing new for Denham Springs senior running back Tyree Goldman. Flashback to last year, Denham's first game after the flood. Goldman scoring four first quarter touchdowns in the Jackets season opening win against Terra, with a Player of the Week nomination and award to go with it. Fast forward to last Friday, Goldman once again leading the way in Denham's opener, finding the end zone six times in the Jackets 45-10 win over Hammond, including scoring on the game's opening kickoff. It was kind of short so I let it bounce and you know I took it and it was great blocking up front. That's what set up the whole play. You know I just seen it and hit it. Starting off, I didn't think they was going to kick it to me. I mean, when they did, I had to make the best of it. I have some twins with me right now. Tell me your name. I know that you're a gold member. What's your name? John and Sean. John and Sean. Okay, I want to ask you a question about your brother. When you see your brother playing and all the attention is on him, what do you feel? What do you think about? Like, I don't like the whole stand. E even the other team to know that um, he's my brother and stuff like that. So I just going to run down. And then, and then people start pointing and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you let them know, that's my brother. That's my brother right there. So I know that y'all play football as well. So what uh, that, does that motivate you to be better, to practice harder? It makes me want to, like, it makes me want to, like, be better than him. Uh-huh. Like, so he be like, um, I'm not going to say I'm better than y'all because y'all good, too. Like, he be humbling himself. Good. He be trying to be humble. That's good. Denham's new head coach, Bill Conides, known for his high-flying pass-centered offense, realizes the special weapon that he has on the ground. I knew that he was a dynamic football player, and I was going to have to give him the rock. So even if it's th throwing him the ball on a five-yard dunk or, or whatever it may be, he's going to get the rock. You know, I'm not that hard-headed. I like to throw the football, but uh, he's such a good player, he's got to have the ball in his hands. And if winning wasn't enough, Goldman had extra inspiration dedicating his performance to his five-year-old cousin, Treasure, who passed away in a Baton Rouge apartment fire. My little cousin, she passed away in a, a fire, a house fire, a while back. And before the game, I said, this game was for her. And, you know, I scored six touchdowns. So it, it was special. It was a special game for me. The way I found out, it, just, it really hit me hard. So I, I, I'm dedicating the game, every game, to one of my, you know, loved ones that I lost. Tyree, it is an honor for me to be interviewing you right now. You know, and I noticed in your other interviews that you speak highly of your father. Uh, let's go to game day. How do you feel knowing that your dad is in the stands watching you? It's great, honestly, because I know I got somebody that I look up to watching me and, you know, they can tell me what he sees on the field, like, if I don't see it. You know, it's, it's really great, honestly. Right, good, good. And what, um, with your dad not being able to use his scholarship, did that motivate you to work harder to reach your goals? It really did. Like, just knowing that he had the opportunity and now, like, I'm one step behind him, like, I'm, I'm in his footsteps, just going another path, it really motivated me because, like, I could do it for him, you know, and make him proud. And uh, did you feel any added pressure because of your dad's situation? Just a little bit, like at first, during the process, just a little bit, but now it's just it's going along, it's flowing. All right. And I see that you have younger brothers that play football as well. What advice, if any, are you giving to them? You know, just you be humble at an early age. Like at a young age, when you do something, you know, let somebody else talk for you, you know, and let other people talk highly of you. So. Right. Don't toot your own horn, huh? Okay, I see your family have a strong religious background. How do you use your faith to help you in school, on the field, and in life in general? I 
some game days, my dad has sent me a scripture. He do it every day, but like on game days, I look at, I go back and look at the stuff he sent me, and I just look at it and I'm like, man, this could relate to this, and it could relate to that. So I just use it in school situations and life situations. Yeah, okay. And do you have a special school that you want to play for? I mean, I really like the Memphis Tigers. Like, that's one of my tops right now. And just because they got a nice program out there and they're doing big things. Okay, okay. And if you had to talk to other kids that's looking at you and saying, I want to be just like him, what would you, what advice would you give them? Listen to everything your parents say because it's, it's right, honestly. Listen okay. to everything they say, it's good because they'll teach you. They've been through it before and they'll right. teach you. Seeing the Goldmans in action is about far more than football. They show what can be done with a supporting family in your corner. When you have people with you who are ready to catch you when you fall and point you in the right direction, no matter what obstacles may come your way, you won't have a choice but to succeed. I would say, you know, keep God first in everything you do because, you know, without him, you know, you wouldn't be you. And just, you know, you set a goal for yourself and just stay with it. Like, don't backtrack on nothing. If you got a goal, stay on that road and keep your mind on it and work for it. Whether Tyree becomes a professional athlete or decides to take another path in life, he and all of his siblings are being given the tools that they need to thrive in any situation.